so students after talking about coordination in plants that is the tropism and the nastic movements now you have seen that nastic movements are due to changes in turgor pressure but the growth related movements tropic movements are due to a chemical which i was again and again talking about and that was auxin okay so what is auxin auxin is a chemical so it is a chemical in nature called hormone now hormones are part of chemical coordination in animals as well as in plants hormones which are plant related are called phyto hormones okay now the basic characteristics of hormones are as follows when we talk about phyto hormones then phyto hormones are always produced in small amounts right and they are specific in the action okay and they are produced at some other site the site of production and the target is not same but they flow into the sap and they target their specific part and why are they required why the phyto hormones required in plants because they control and coordinate growth development of the plant and stimulus to response right like stimulus to response to stimulus right response to stimulus growth and control and coordination in plants is due to phyto hormones so what is response to stimulus like in tropism there is response to stimulus and the stimuli we discussed are light phototropism water hydrotropism chemical stimulus chemotropism gravity is the stimulus then geotropism right so these help in giving response to the stimulus now the phyto hormones are broadly classified into two types that is growth regulators and growth inhibitor okay now in growth related hormones which regulate growth number 1 is auxin then there are gibberellins then there are cytokinins and then there is ethylene now of all the hormones ethylene is the only hormone which is gaseous in nature okay and it acts on fruit another thing which i would like to tell you about ethylene hormone is it is active even if the fruit has been detached from the parent plant it is still active now you will agree with me that sometimes you bring the mangoes or the tomatoes which are not fully ripe right but when you keep it at home they get ripened with time so what is responsible for that ripening of fruit when it has been detached from the plant it is the ethylene hormone so auxins what is their function they help in elongation of cells okay the cells they elongate and they help in growth of fruit growth of stem and growth of the plant okay then gibberellins again growth hormone so they are responsible for growth of stem expanding of leaves leaves are expanding now this is the plant and then there is a bough there is a branch of the tree and then the branch gets filled with leaves expanding of leaves so which hormone is responsible gibberellins then they also help in breaking of seed dormancy now what do you mean by seed dormancy that is the seed is dormant it is not going to sprout it is not going to grow for example you all know we have seeds at home like dals lentils okay peas or even grams 
or kidney bean and they are dormant they are not growing but once they are given proper condition then dormancy breaks then you must have seen that the growth and flowering is during spring season so when there is growth taking place it means these are at that time active and the growth inhibitor that is abscisic acid which is also abbreviated as aba hormone is not active and during autumn when we say patjhad the leaves are falling patte jhad rahe hain right leaves are wilting dormancy is there it means abscisic acid is at work abscisic acid is working it is inhibiting cell division it is promoting dormancy in seeds and wilting and falling of leaves is taking place right so this topic is of immense significance one two or more questions are always asked from this topic so do well all the best